uh, console kit from Kentucky Mustang, part number 7144. It's not one of their complete kits, um, so there's definitely things that you have to do. I only found one video on how to assemble this uh, kit, and I didn't really like the way that they uh, did it, so I made this video instead. I started by installing the top plate. Um, there's just uh, six speed nuts. Uh, this is one of those cases where definitely do not use power tools, just use hand tools. You don't need to over tighten them here. Next I moved on to the console door. You can see here that there's two different springs. They are color coded. Uh, that uh, would be helpful if I actually had instructions. But I uh, used in the other video, which did have some good points, I was able to figure out which side which went, went where. You want to draw the strings in from the outside in. And it doesn't seem like they fit very well, but once you get it in, you'll see that it actually works out pretty well. The biggest issue I had with the other video was that they tried to put the door in from the front, which is very bad. It's not supposed to go that way, and you have to spread the plastic and you really risk cracking it. It goes in just easily and perfectly from the rear. I have no idea why they tried to go in from the front. When you put the door in from the back though, you do need to push the springs forward, kind of lay them in, let them go in first and kind of shove them through. And you'll see why in a minute as we kind of reposition the springs after you get the door in. It's a little tricky. It's uh, best to actually probably stand the uh, console up on its end if you can, or at least lift it up. Um, gravity will help the uh, springs go forward. Uh, in this case, I was trying to film, so it was a little bit more tricky. Here's another view of the, of the same procedure here, pushing the springs forward and then slipping it in through that large opening at the back. But it really goes in quite easy and, and correctly uh, by going it this way. The next step is to get the springs into position. Basically what you're trying to do is pull them back forward now and hook them into the holes. There's two sets of holes. The ones uh, kind of more on the inboard side, those are actually for the screws. You're actually going for the outboard holes for the springs. And it's, uh, it's a little tricky in there, but it's, it's quite easy to do. Um, I was able to do it by hand or, or just a simple pair of pliers also helps. You know it's right when the holes in the springs line up with the holes in the console. The kit doesn't actually come with the screws that hold these uh, springs into the console. Luckily I had some U-clips and some screws that did work. It's possible to just screw right into the plastic. And it looks like there's some bosses there that you could probably screw into. But I think just using the U-clips uh, was just a little bit more safe. The good news is that the uh, bracket that holds on the uh, shift plate only fits one way. 
Um, so you can tell as soon as you put it on if you have it right or not. The bad news is even when I put it on right, the hole in the center hole where the screw goes was offset. I had to take a file and kind of line the hole over a little bit further. But once I got that uh, hole a little bit elongated, it went on just fine. So this console isn't actually drilled out to fit the rear light, which is very interesting. There weren't even any marks on the console of where you need to drill. So I lined it up the best I could in order to clear the four holes that I needed and just started drilling holes. I got, uh, I think all three, three of them went in very well. The fourth one I was off by a little bit and I had to, had to make that hole just a wee bit longer. Luckily I had some, again there was no hardware here for screwing the light in. Uh, it's a 1024 screw. I had some screws laying around which I think will work just fine. I was to start drilling out with a very small drill and then work my way bigger so I don't make a hole any bigger than I have to. The kit does come with the wiring harness that uh, connects the, that light at the rear up towards the front. You'll need another har wiring harness, either you can use a factory one or a couple wires to uh, connect that to an underdash uh, source for power. Now the kit normally comes with an ashtray that goes up uh, next to that light. Um, they were back ordered on the ashtray, but luckily they did send the rest of the kit and then they'll send the uh, ashtray when they get them back into stock. And here's the console uh, fit here in the car. Uh, it's not uh, it's not actually screwed down yet. The kit doesn't come with the forward uh, steel bracket that you need um, to bolt it to the transmission tunnel. It does come with the six screws that do screw it in on the sides. So I do need to buy a couple more parts uh, and then I will complete the installation of this center console. And I think it really helps uh, round out the interior of this car. I'm looking forward to having it fully complete and uh, the light working too.